after Venus, moving back to reality, where art is. So hi everyone, I am Begum Rushi. Currently I'm working for a NASA program called Servier. And I am part of science coordination team, which is situated in Huntsville, Alabama. And today, my topic is taking charge of economic growth with the help of satellite imagery. And here, I would like to talk about a project that we have been doing um, uh, to make how to estimate a, a country's uh, budget with the help of satellite image. So before moving detail into my um, uh, project, I'd like to talk a little bit about the program I'm working for. So it's called Servier, uh, which actually a joint initiative by NASA and USAID. And Servier, where we try to develop um, uh, some, uh, for our scientists, we develop some projects for our research, and we try to fill the gap uh, between the end user and we have the resources uh, to actually build the capacity uh, of the end users so that they can apply whatever we are developing for our science and research into their day-to-day -day lives and, and to make an informed decision uh, for their own. Uh, currently, Servia is operating in four different regions, two in Asia and two in Africa. And uh, we are um, uh, glad to announce that a new hub in Amazonia re region is going to be launched soon in 2018. And, um, and it, how this program is work, so we try... Uh, to follow a bottom-up approach in Servia. So we, uh, at the grassroots level, try to accumulate what the needs of the end user, and we try to prioritize what uh, uh, they actually want for their, uh, for their own uses. And then after that, we um, uh, transfer, link the science product that has been developed in different research institute, and we strengthen uh, their capacity in programming languages, their technical capacity, and we try to transfer the scientific product we are developing uh, for our research uh, to them so that th uh, they will be on their own. They can use that product and um, uh, make an informed decision for their budget, uh, for their um, water resources management, or for any other weather-related uh, issues. So now, my project where we are trying to develop uh, a wheat map for Afghanistan. And why we're doing this? As we all know that in Afghanistan, after war and social reformation, they are really going through a bad phase where try to, they are fighting really hard to revive their economy. And uh, wheat is on a uh, kind of the backbone of their economy. And but still, they have a huge demand for wheat, and they try to um, uh, import a lot of wheat from the other countries. And um, as it's really uh, a developing nation where uh, the, everything is changes, all of their projects and wheat production actually subsidized by the government. So government wants to know what actually they are investing and what their outcome of their investment. And um, also, uh, this wheat map actually helped them to act, uh, estimate what their budget will be for the next year. Um, uh, so uh, what we are offering through this project, we are currently using a Google Earth engine, which is developed uh, by Google, and where uh, you can manipulate all the codes and satellite images at the same platform. And um, uh, this is because uh, Servia's motto is, uh, has, has to be uh, uh, cost-effective and as well as user-friendly. And Google Earth engine is also uh, helping to do that. And um, well, for, this, uh, for this project, we are using Sentinel-2 data um, because it is easily available, it is uh, free of charge, uh, it also provides high resolution, and also uh, we have a continuous data for the time period they are interested in and for that region. This is the methodology we are following. Um, uh, so it's a simple, straightforward uh, method we're applying, where we are uh, currently acquiring all the data for that time period they are interested in. And then we're applying what is their atmospheric um, correction, turn correction, so that we have a more refined 
product at the end and after that we are will do some ground shooting and uh, cross validation whatever ground observation we have uh, from uh, ministry of uh, agriculture in afghanistan and after that we will find a uh, wheat map for that area where they will ha uh, they will use that for their own use and what our motto at the end it actually we are uh, will do all this um, processes all the programming and everything in the automation process so that uh, everything can be replicated by our stakeholders and end user and after that uh, we will try to uh, do a visualization platform so that any end user can select whatever area or any um, whatever month they are interested in and whatever area the uh, province they are interested in and download the map at the end uh, so that uh, for each um, for any year for f in future they can, they will produce their own map and develop uh, um, the estimated wheat areas for that uh, particular area thank you